Hi guys, welcome to Drum Dog, and this week we are talking about the one golden rule of kit setup. Now, there's no two ways about it. The drum kit is a complicated instrument. There's a whole load of pieces to it, and there's a whole load of pretty much infinite number of options to put those pieces in different places. Now, because of this infinite adjustability of every single part of the kit, it can actually be slightly more challenging than you might necessarily straight away think to actually get your kit set up in an efficient way that lets us play at our best. Now, while kit setup is a very personal thing between different people and depending on what kind of music you play is gonna directly affect the kind of kit you have, how many toms you have, how many cymbals you have, there is one golden rule that rings true across every single kit setup. And that golden rule has everything to do with the center of the drum kit. Now, if we look at the conventional five-piece drum kit, it seems quite obvious that the bass drum is the center. It's the biggest thing, it draws our eyes in, and it sits there right in the middle of the other four drums. But that isn't actually the case. Now, if we set up a really basic kit here with a kick, a hi-hat, and a snare drum, with the kick as the center, look where our body ends up pointing. Now, although the kick is pointing perfectly forwards, by the time our left foot is on that hi-hat and then our snare's in between our legs, us as drummers end up facing off to the left relative to our kick. Now, with this in a performance and stage setting, it's gonna result in us twisting our backs to the right to compensate for that splaying off to the left naturally. Now that twist in our spine is instantly going to affect our core position and our ability to perform at our best on the kit, as well as not being great for your back itself. So this one golden rule of kit setup is going to undo all of those problems and it is as simple as a shift in our concept of the centre of the kit. Instead of thinking of the centre of the kit as the centre of the physical drum kit as we see it, we have to think of the center line of our posture and how that intersects the kit instead. Now with the snare drum sat slap between our legs and our feet on the two pedals, it's actually fairly obvious to think of the center of ourselves as that follows through into the kit and goes straight down the middle of the snare. And that's it, that is the golden rule, the snare, is the center of the kit, not the bass drum. Now, as we apply this to our kit, all this is gonna involve is moving that bass drum slightly round to the right, keeping that snare in the middle, and then having a nice symmetrical posture either side of that snare to our two pedals. Now it may seem a little bit weird at first having your bass drum off to one side instead of slap bang in the middle facing forwards, but you now find as you sit behind the kit, you are now facing forward instead of the bass drum. At the end of the day, that bass drum is off on your right leg and therefore is naturally gonna be off to that one side. Now once we've got those three core bits of the kit in place, that kick, hat and snare, the real meat and potatoes of the drum kit, everything else just follows through. Now it's really important to remember as we add more pieces to our drum kit, we're still keeping those core parts in the same place. We're not sacrificing our snare position to squeeze in more toms. We're working the toms around that all important snare drum.
So no matter the size of kit you play, even if you're going for a much bigger kit with loads more toms and cymbals, we've still got those core parts of the kit in the same place with our core posture slapped down the middle. I know this slight shift of centre may seem like a very small change in the grand scheme of things, but it's small changes on important topics like this one that really do make a bigger impact on your overall playing than we think they do. Your core position and posture on the kit makes such a difference for your ability and stamina and just your general relaxation and ease of technique as we're moving around the drum kit. Now, like I said earlier, setup is a very personal thing, and this is an important but loosely applied rule that works for everyone, but everyone's kits are gonna work slightly differently around that center line. Whether you prefer your toms slightly closer to the hats off to the left, or you prefer them more over the bass drum, but no matter how you like everything else, that snare is still gonna sit loud and proud in the center, so never lose sight of that. Now I really hope this has been useful for you guys. For any of you guys out there who have been setting up with that kick slap bang in the middle, give it a try, push it over to the side, snare in the center and drop down in the comments. Does it feel any different? Does it feel a bit more natural? Even if it might seem a little bit alien at first. If you wanna check out more lessons like this, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we hope to see you again soon.